My name is Nancy McCleary and I am a police reporter and breaking news reporter for the Fayetteville Observer in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm Nathan Harden. I'm a former crime reporter at the Fayetteville Observer. The Kelly Bordeaux case just seemed to hang over, over Fayetteville for years. It was huge uh, for Fayetteville and for the area. She was a young soldier, uh, combat medic. Uh, no one knew what had happened to her. Guys, we appreciate everybody coming out. There were dead ends for police and investigators, and uh, nobody knew. How great of an influence is the military in this community? Between active duty soldiers and their dependents and the reserves and retirees and their families, it's at least a third of the city's population. This city, it, it is the military. It's the heart and soul of Fayetteville. How big of a story was this when, when Kelly went it, missing? It was very big. They had a search and they asked for volunteers. At least 500 people showed up. I was out there and people that I spoke with, they were active duty or they were retired military and, and they came out because it was a fellow soldier. I have never seen a crowd like that come out to help search for anybody. Kelly's story, it's a story that eats at you. You see the pictures, the selfies. You see this vibrant young woman who has her whole life ahead of her, but who made a very bad decision when she chose to leave Froggy Bottoms Tavern with Nick Holbert. I did not think Nick Holbert was smart enough to pull all that off. He just didn't come across as being that bright, in all honesty. I thought that there were a, a lot of strong red flags around Nick from the beginning, just from sort of the way uh, his demeanor. He was the last person to be seen with Kelly that night, that her cell phone had uh, messages that said, I'm with Nick and I think he was a strong person of interest from the beginning. I think Kelly, at the age of 23, believed that nothing could happen to her, that she was invincible. She was a soldier, and nothing was going to happen to her. But something did happen to her, something very bad.